Hi, welcome to Renaissance Miniatures. Uh, I thought we'd give you a quick tour, show you the latest goodies, including the second laser cutter that's now working. Um, so this is our workshop. As you can see, there are two laser cutters. The one on the left is the Death Row Ming the Merciless, which is our first laser cutter. And on the right is the guy we've just got fully functional, finally. Illudium Q36. And on the outside they look identical, uh, but under the hood they're quite different. Um, this is the older laser cutter, and it's got about 4,000 hours of work on it now. We've completed two Kickstarter projects, essentially, on this machine. And uh, it's, it's starting to show its age, but it's still pretty reliable. It's our workhorse go-to machine. Um, when we decided to make a second laser cutter, we decided we would just make an exact duplicate of this one. The problem has always been, though, that these belts here, let me show you, these, these belts that drive the machine backwards and forwards, um, the manufacturer changed to a new kind of belt, and uh, these are a little bit stiffer than the old ones and a little bit wider. And the result was that the engineering on this machine was such that it would tend to skip steps. And when that happens, it completely ruins the cut. And no thing we tried to do to get these belts to work with this design would ever fix it. We tried absolutely everything. In the end, what had to happen was that the, uh, the team who designed the laser saw in the first place, which by the way was a Kickstarter project, um, had to go back to the drawing board and redesign the, the motor drive mechanism here and here to use a thicker belt and to gear the drive mechanism down. And that process took a long time. So if we go to the new machine over here, oops, which is still full of parts by the way, um, you can see that the replacement for that motor is a much more complicated mechanism. Uh, this has a, a geared motor, you can see another, another little second drive system down there, and some pinch wheels that, that do tensioning. The drive belt's much wider and it's got different teeth on it. The whole thing is, is dramatically redesigned. Down here, the, the, the other mechanism again, same deal. Everything, everywhere is more complicated than it used to be. And really that makes for a much more robust design. Um, not only uh, is it more reproducible because it doesn't depend on these old belts, but um, it's also potentially faster, smoother, quieter. In every way, it's a better design. So that's what we have for the second machine. Um, and it's running now, it works. I hope I've got it turned on now because of all the fans and everything, I wouldn't be able to narrate this video. Um, down in here, all these tubes, it looks like something out of that Terry Gilliam movie, Brazil, ducts everywhere. Uh, these carry the smoke out of the two machines and they disappear through the far wall and out of a smokestack on the roof of the building. Um, underneath each machine we store painted plywood. Um, it's actually the supplies are kind of lower, I haven't done much painting recently, but you can see all the different colours down there. And under this machine we've got the larger sheets. Um, way down underneath you can see uh, these are industrial, these machines here are industrial chillers that uh, keep the laser cool while it's running. Um, over here is uh, oh, it's a junk bin. So you can see we've been cutting some roofs, I think they're dojo roofs we've been cutting recently. That's where all that debris comes from, that's what's left over at the end. Um, over here is the massive wall of parts, uh, and there's two of those. So that's where all the parts we've cut uh, ready, for, ready for shipping. And um, Renee does that work, so she pulls the, the bins for the things she needs, puts on a little cart, wheels them into the other room, and then assembles them into kits. Um, uh, in here, there's a little closet, and here we've got um, oops, uh, all our storage area, so there's uh, all the cardboard boxes for shipping. Uh, these grey tubs down here have got kits that have been packaged ready for shipping. Um, they're just going to be boxed up. And uh, various other bits and pieces up there is all the spare parts for the laser cutter, uh, lenses and things like that. So that's about it. That's what we are. That's what we do. And this is where we do it. Thanks. Bye-bye.